Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you need IT consulting, go to willyhow.com. Click the Hire Us button or the Contact Us uh, link. Fill out that information and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. This is meant to be a conversation, so I will be responding to the comments. Um, what I want to talk about is... Um, I saw another post and um, I, I said something to Tom Lawrence, so maybe we'll do a kind of a collaboration on this as well. But what I want to talk about is what management interfaces should and should not be connected to the Internet. And should we just put everything behind a VPN uh, with the state of the way things are? I'm if somebody said to me, hey, Willie, I want to put all of my stuff behind a VPN. I'm not going to argue with them. Um, that being said, if you're a, a photographer, if you, um, are in some other business where you use like your Synology to provide a client area where clients can send and receive files with you securely, you can't really, I don't think, I don't think expect all of your clients to have a VPN to do that. Right. So let's talk about that. So here is a list of things that I'm going to say for me are kind of non-starters. So um, firewall router interfaces, I think, should always be behind a VPN. Switch uh, interfaces. Now, these are management interfaces. Access. See, and this is where it gets weird, right? So now your Unify is available publicly. But do you have it available with the, you know, via the Unify cloud with two-factor authentication? So that's another layer that's on top of this. Uh, or do you have it open directly, have it joined to Ubiquity so you can still do two-factor authentication with it? And I think there might be some other 2FA stuff in the latest release. We'll talk about that a little later uh, in another video. But how far is MFA or 2FA going to take you? You know, so... Definitely for me, no firewall or router interfaces, no switch management interfaces. Um, if you're not using a system like Unify or TP-Link Omada, I don't think it's a good idea to put access point interfaces um, on the, the public internet. Uh, as far as your NAS goes, if you have MFA, you've got a certain level of protection. Is it bulletproof? No, we've, we've, seen MFA is now uh, coming under attack with uh, uh, proxy attacks. Um, but it's also about opportunity cost, right? Um, is the person that is looking for national secrets willing to spend the same amount of money looking for national secrets to see what Willie Howe is doing? Probably not, right? So could they break uh, my encryption? Sure. Are they going to put the resources into it? Eh, probably not. I'm not really that uh, exciting of a character. So, but with the Edge Router X being a $59 router, it can do VPN. First of all, there's no excuse for remote desktop. Remote desktop, that is another one. That is another uh, thing that should never be exposed to the internet. Um, you know, with routers being $59. With, uh, I can't show you this, the embargo is still on, but with Synology routers, uh, and they have several wonderful VPNs. Uh, you know, I, the, the whole thing, this came up with a client. And so I'm really, I want to know what your opinion is. Uh, are you put everything behind a VPN? Are you okay with the NAS being exposed to the internet? I'm okay with the NAS being exposed to the internet. As long as at least bare minimum admin accounts have to have multi-factor authentication. Um, obviously you can't hide email servers. There's things that have to be exposed to the internet. So let me know down in the comments, I want to have this conversation and we're going to take your comments and uh, uh, I'll compile a, a comment video and we'll read it back. We'll have a conversation about this. This might also be a really good topic uh, after we get all this to open up our forums. And so I'm, I'm looking at that as well. But let me know definitely down in the comments what you think. Are you in everything, you know, that, that can be put behind a VPN, behind a VPN? Are you selective? Oh, another thing that I, uh, security cameras themselves, never expose them directly to the internet. IOT devices, 
never exposed directly to the internet, right? So that's just kind of some of the things off the top of my head I'm thinking. So let me know what you think. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Those links are all down below. If you need IT consulting, head on over to willyhow.com. Click hire us or the contact us and uh, fill that information out and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. If you'd like to support the channel by becoming a patron on Patreon or by using our clearly marked Amazon affiliate links, those are all down below. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the